Hello everyone, I'm back with a thrift haul and I'm going to show you everything I got in March and I'm really excited because I got some good pieces and also a lot of items that are a bit out of my comfort zone because I'm not shopping for anything new this month and I feel like I got a little bit out of my comfort zone of things I normally buy secondhand but this time I searched for anything that I thought I could need so I got a lot on Vinted, so online shopping but I also got some things just out of the thrift store but this was one of my packages I got in the beginning of the month and I'm really happy about it because normally on Vinted I mostly look for handbags but this time I thought I should look for some spring items because I have a lot of thick sweaters and I have a lot of t-shirts but I don't have a lot of things that are for in between and in the beginning of this year I made a trend prediction video and it was also mostly a video of trends I thought I was going to wear this year and stripes was one of the things that I listed so I definitely searched for things that were with stripes on Vinted and I found this lady who was selling all these pieces so this is the first item that I saw when I was scrolling and I liked it immediately because it is red and red for me can sometimes be a little bit overpowering but because this one has different tones of red is perfect and I also really like that the stripes are different sizes so it feels a little bit more playful and I must say this item is something I think I wouldn't liked five years ago so I am aware that I got influenced I guess by Pinterest but right now this is perfect I feel like I can wear this in a lot of ways so this is the first one The second one is my favorite because of the color combination. I think blue and brown together is so good. And the knitted material also reminded me of the brand Paloma Wool. So I'm actually thinking of doing a video of these pieces or this brand because I really like how they style things together. So I want to remake some fits and I think this sweater will be perfect for it. The third thing is this blazer and this one is a little bit sunburned. I don't know if you can say that about an item, but uh, at the bottom of it you can see it's slightly a different color and it also got it on top of it. But I still really like it because it's from this cotton material and it feels very relaxed because I buy a lot of blazers from the men's section and I really like them but sometimes they feel a bit too formal or a bit too heavy like an actual jacket and this one is just perfect for spring weather. I can wear this with a white t-shirt and it's done. The fourth one is a little bit small and I was hesitant to buy it but I think it worked out well because it is perfect as a t-shirt. I actually got something similar at COS in January and I think this one is perfect with just a jeans. I think I would wear it to make it a little bit more relaxed but I like that it is a t-shirt from this knitted material and it also got this invisible um, button so you can't really see them when it's buttoned up which makes it feel like a little uh, sweater that is shrunken and I do like something very oversized but I also like the awkward tiny fit of this thing. I think this is my least favorite item and I don't know what it is about it because I do like the color, I do like the stripes and it's just a button up but I think it is how it feels, like how it fits, uh, it isn't that comfortable, I don't know but I think it also can be that item that I don't, I'm not in love with but I actually will wear a lot, like I will be surprised of how many times I will wear this item. The last item from that package are these shoes, which I like because they are loafers, but they feel like socks, like the size is perfect. They are also very comfortable and uh, the sole is coming a little bit loose, so I have to fix them, but I really like them with big pants like here. Then I also went thrifting and I got this jacket, which I liked a lot because it is so soft. I can't describe how soft this is, uh, like it feels like those suede 
couches i don't know how to describe it differently it is a bit bigger than how i would prefer it but it's perfectly to go out in this bag is from the brand Nobody and I got it on Vinted and I actually got this one already in white but I like that white bag so much and I feel like this one has a totally different feel because of the color and I know it is ridiculous but I actually thought about it for a week like I didn't I saw it and I wanted to buy it and I thought no that's ridiculous you have the exact same bag in white but I thought about it and I really feel like it has a different vibe to it because the color is a lot warmer than the white one and the white one uh, feels a little bit more clean. I feel like if you see them next to each other you will understand me because the white one uh, is more for formal use like for events and stuff and the brown one is more for casual wear. Another bag I got on Vinted is this one and it is blue and that's why I got it because I used to wear a lot of black items and I still wear a lot of black, don't get me wrong but I have the feeling that I want to break it up with color a little bit more than I used to like sometimes now I look in the mirror and I'm just wearing an all black item or an all black outfit for example and I feel like I just need one touch of color and then I'm good. I also like that it is a crossbody and it is the perfect size. I actually found a pen in this bag which is so funny when you find things when you buy on Vinted. Well actually I once found a tissue in a jacket so that was not a fun experience but most of the times when you find grocery lists or something it reminds you that this thing is already used and I think that's such a fun reminder this is not actually a thrifted piece because i got it from my mom but we were going to the thrift store and she had this one laying in her car to bring to the thrift store but for me it's such a nostalgic piece because she wore this when i was around 10 for a long period and i just associate it with my mom and with this time in my life and i actually also really like it because it has that stripe detail that i'm looking for and it is also a cardigan something that i don't have a lot so i wanted to keep it and i still can bring it to the thrift store when i don't wear it but i I just couldn't um, let her bring that to the thrift store because it got so many memories for me. Sometimes a piece that somebody else uh, wore has more memories than something you wore yourself, I think. And I like giving pieces a second life and especially when it comes from somebody you know, I think it is extra special. This cashmere sweater is from a thrift store and I think I will wear this the most out of all of them because it is so basic, it is so warm but still not warm in an uncomfortable way if you know what I mean. I think this is shrunken, I think these pieces get to the thrift store because somebody washed them um, in a wrong setting. But I feel like for me, I don't have long arms, so it's a little bit too short for my arms, but it's not that drastic that it bothers me. And I really like this color. I think it's perfect. This skirt I got at the same time at the same store. And I really like it because it is from a good quality. It was a bit more expensive, but... I think it was around 20 euros, which is still such a good deal for this quality. It is from Xandres. I don't know if you see that like that, but I think you do. And it is a very good quality, like it is so soft and I'm excited to wear this in spring. Also with just a white t-shirt, I think I will wear this a lot. The last item is from Vinted and I'm very happy. I know I say that about every item, but I'm so happy about this because it is so precious. It's a Kenzo skirt and it is not that practical. Like it is from this raincoat material. 
I don't know, it's it's not raincoat material, but it feels like that. But it's so pretty and it has this slit that you can open. Uh, so when you are not opening it, it feels very stiff and you actually don't have a lot of room to walk in. So I actually really like it when it's a tube, but it's impossible to walk. But then if you um, open it up, you have a lot of room and it actually feels very classic. It's not a very comfortable skirt, I have to say that, but I really like it and I feel like if I have to dress up, this is the skirt I will go to. So this is actually my most precious piece, I would say. So thank you for watching, I really enjoy making these. Subscribe if you want and thank you for being here.